Sports Broadcasting Camp. This is Sports Broadcasting Center. I am Cole Zellner, along with my partners Luke Jackson and Trey Cromley. New York Yankees officially retired Derek Jeter's number two jersey in a pregame ceremony prior to their game against the Houston Astros. Jeter played for the Yankees for 20 seasons as it was a 14-time All-Star while leading the Yanks to five World Series titles. He was also named New York's captain from 2003 to 2014 and ended his Hall of Fame career as the franchise all-time leader in hits. Football news. The Cleveland Browns selected defensive end Miles Garrett with the number one over overall pick in the 2017 draft. In three years at Texas A&M, Garrett produced 141 tackles, 47 tackles for loss, and 31 sacks. He was named first team All-American following his sophomore and junior seasons. Quarterback Deshaun Watson, who led Clemson to the national title last year, was selected by the Houston Texans with the 12th overall pick. To the NBA. The Golden State Warriors clinched their second NBA title in three years after defeating the Cleveland Cavaliers 129-120 to in Game 5 of the NBA Finals. Warriors forward Kevin Durant, who finished with a team-high 39 points, was named NBA Finals MVP for the first time in his career. In a losing effort, Cavs forward LeBron James scored a game-high 41 points and became the first player in the NBA Finals history to average a triple-double in the series. Now on to hockey. The Pittsburgh Penguins sadly defeated the National Predators 2-0 in Game 6 of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Patrick Hornquist scored the cup-clinching goal for the Penguins with just over one minute remaining in regulation. Pittsburgh became the first team to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cup titles since the 1998 Detroit Red Wings. And finally, former NFL and college football coach Chip Kelly is joining ESPN as a studio analyst next season. Kelly coached the Eagles and the 49ers following a tremendous four-year stint head coaching job at the University of Oregon. Kelly will primarily be part of Saturday's pregame as well as halftime and wrap-up shows on ESPN2, who will also provide NFL analysts on Sundays during Sports Center. That will wrap it up for Sports Broadcast Center. For my partners Luke Jackson and Trey Cromley, I'm Cole Zellner. Good night.